people now believe that oh you can divorce as many times as you want so long as you have some reasons you can divorce and still be a christian <laughs> and there is chaos in the church imagine a situation a man divorces this woman and gets married to another one in the same congregation and divorces this one and get married to another one and another man is getting married to this your ex-wife and another one is getting married to this ex-wife and then you divorce this one and you go before the ex-wife of that man that is with you ex-wife and you get look at the confusion everywhere uh, I listened to a man of God who was preaching and he said, all oh, these things were not, act not actually, Jesus wasn't actually talking about divorce. Jesus was talking about separation, that you don't just separate from your wife like that, uh, that divorce is legal. That Jesus, listen, in the beginning it wasn't so. For God created them male and female, not a male and females. One wife one husband no adultery no fornication before marriage it pains my heart that today fornication is 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 tolerated if you're single oh you can be faithful to one man you can be faithful to one girlfriend so long as you know sleeping around it doesn't mean anything in the early church, if you are caught in the act of fornication, you will be suspended. There are congregations today, this is a bit of truth, there are congregations today, some congregations today, if you decide to suspend everyone that commits fornication in the church, there will be nobody left in the pew. Sometimes even in the altar, there will be nobody left. If you suspend Every single person that commits fornication or commits adultery in the church, everybody will be... I'm not saying there are no elect of God in the church. Very much where there are God's elect in the church. The way, the path to heaven is still narrow. And we must continue to remind ourselves. 